If you've seen us before, you know we talk a lot about YouTube videos and all the great things you can do with YouTube videos. But the question then becomes, well, I know how to do it now. What should I do my video on? What's my topic? What's my theme? What should I talk about? So I'm going to take you through two tools to show you how you can pick a whole bunch of YouTube topics. Two tools. Speaking of two tools, we, uh, this is Nate and Scott. <laughs> I think we should dive right in. I'm going to show you the first tool right away. This is, this is actually a social platform that's growing and you can actually build a following here on Quora. It's called Quora.com. Quora, Quora, right. It's a Q&A website. You can ask questions, people will answer. And if you come in here and answer questions around your topic, then it will start to feed you questions. So I haven't been in here for a few days. Let's come here and click on answer. And it says questions for me. Is your full time gig making money online? So I could choose to answer that question. Maybe I could make a video about that. How competitive is the hiring process? <laughs> okay, how's this for me? That noodles and company. How does YouTube determine the order of videos after searching for something? So mm -hmm. that, I mean, that might give me a, a, an idea. This is just a way of, of kind of triggering ideas. Yeah, you're basically saying, what should I film? What, what, what's my expertise? Yeah. What can I put on YouTube? These are questions actual people are asking. And if you do it right, you can find some that are being asked by a lot of people. Mm -hmm. The more you use it, the, the easier this part of the tool is, the more customized the yeah, questions Yeah, they tailor it to you. Mm -hmm. yeah, but to you can you. also search. So if I, if I wanted to make a video, let's say my... Um, How about chicken penne pasta at Noodles & Company? I'm kidding. I don't. I. <laughs> I just want. I, I love the. I love noodles as a company. A buddy so of mine if runs I want to know those. what questions people are asking about chicken noodle soup, because I'm making a lot of videos on chicken noodle soup. What is your opinion of chicken noodle soup? Wow. That is a great. That's a great question. We could really. Is canned chicken noodle soup safe to eat uncooked? I can make a whole episode about that. Canned. Oh, you uncooked. are a canned chicken noodle you know, soup expert. I don't have time to cook a can. I can't put it in the microwave. Throw it in there for 62 I, I just got seconds. Can I eat it right out of the can? Yeah. That's right. what I like. People want to know. In the, in the jungle or in the desert. Uh, six people have answered this. Um, is chicken noodle soup homogenous? Homogeneous? What does that even mean? Well, if you put it in a blender, then it's like chicken noodle soup should not be. It should be chunky. Anyway. Can you melt cheese? So you see, there's a, you can find the questions that people are asking and potentially some of these you'll make videos about. <laughs> can you imagine an episode? Can you melt cheese into chicken noodle soup? That's what we're going to talk about well, today. Six people have answered it. You're right. <laughs> but I wonder now, I just, I'm curious because I'm wondering if any of the people that have answered that question have utilized the very special video answering tool. So we if we should, click on we it. We could demonstrate it and go melt some cheese. We don't have cheese in this house, but these are all just typed responses. Yes, but watch which cheese you're using. Well, that sounds like a health issue. Anyway, no video responses no there. No video responses. So if you were to if we were to do one, a video response instead of just typing it, we probably would be the hero. Because truly, I've done this a few times for a couple, and immediately mine jumps to the top, and I'm the star of the show. So I could put some chicken noodle soup in a bowl, put some cheese on top, put it in a microwave, and say, all right, let's see, guys. Yes, Pull it out, you mix can. It up. Oh, yeah. look. All right. So do you guys want to see the next most amazing super duper tool? I've actually got it open in a tab already from a previous search. Super duper. Let's, let's type in. And this is SEMrush. Dot com. Yeah, semrush.com. Now, is this free or did you subscribe? I do subscribe. Okay. I pay 100 bucks a month. I'll put a Holy link cow. a link to a free trial. I have a link to a free trial down below. I worked out a deal with them. Let's say I've got emotions in here. So let's say you talk a lot about emotions on your YouTube channel. and Not me personally, but he's saying as a, uh, you, for instance. You've got emotions. I've, I've seen you express <laughs> one or two. Okay, this tool is amazing. It's the Keyword Magic tool. It's still in beta, but it works amazing. I haven't seen any flaws with it. It's called the Keyword Magic tool. Did I already say that part? Yes, and it's in beta. The part you want to turn on is questions. Uh, it'll by default be here at all, which shows all these different phrases around emotions. And we waited for a long time for it to think for us to go right back. To questions. 
We want questions. This is amazing because uh, what part of the brain controls emotions? What age does a man emotionally mature? How to get an emotional support dog? So there's tons of topics. This gives you tons of ideas. Obviously, I just put one word in here, but if I wanted training, I've got advanced filters turn on, right? So I can add in more words. I can, if I'm like, you know what, I wanna, oh, well, let me hit enter on training first. So now it, it's got training in there, it thinks, and now it's like, uh, now it filters what is emotional brain training, now, how this, to get trained. For the, for the unwashed, the ignorant, the ignoramus, if I may, uh, what, what what is this searching? In other words, this, this is searching literally what people around the world have typed in as questions? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so this this tells you... And it's through Google, through all the other search engines, or, you know, I mean, does it have a specific... My assumption is that it's mostly from, from Google, but a lot of the tools pull from all different places. Uh, I'm guessing when it tells you search volume that it's the Google search volume. Okay, okay. All right. So but no, just, but know that, that my Google, quick time out for you. Know that Google does own YouTube, so they're they're going to be very, very similar. And right here you can see that it's it's pulling data from the United States, but you can you can change that. Um, you know, play around with this, but just know that this is a great way to find video topics. Google owns YouTube, mm -hmm. and YouTube's search engine is not the same as Google's search engine, right? I mean, well, there's different algorithms, but but they're yeah, they're they're related, and they've got the same technology. That I'm sure there's a lot of overlap. But the beauty of what you're saying is, yeah, is that anyone at any place in the world, somewhere, any language, even, but mostly in English here. Wherever they're typing in this question, it's going to be either Google or YouTube, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have an area of expertise. Just come in here, type in that area of expertise, and find out what questions people are asking, and, and drill down to the specifics. It's not just how to manage emotions, but how does a man emo um, how does a man manage emotions at work? You know. So that's a lot more specific. You could you could find all these specific ways to answer that question or answer those questions and make specific now, videos. To my way of thinking, that almost intuitively seems like you're limiting your your potential audience because how more people probably just put in how to handle emotions, 27,000 searches. How to handle emotions with children is less. How to handle emotions with children who have that da, 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 is less. So in my thinking, that seems like if you drill down really far, that you're only going to get that many responses. And that is exactly correct, and that is ideal. And here's why. Yeah, and tell us if, why. If you go after the broad phrase, you're competing with all the other videos out there that are on that broad phrase, and you're not going to rank. But if I go down specific, specific, ultra specific, mm -hmm. then the person who finds my video typed in that specific phrase, and I'm talking directly to them. I'm talking to the, the parent who's wondering with children in this exact situation, and they're gonna watch my whole video. So my video is gonna perform a lot better. Um, YouTube's, hmm. YouTube's gonna look at the stats on this video and say, wow, this person did this search and watched the whole thing. We're gonna start promoting this video a lot, a lot more versus if I say how to manage emotions, there's a lot of things that I could be talking about in that video. A lot of different searches, there, a lot of people might find it and think, well, I'm looking at more specifically to children or I'm looking at more specifically to work or I'm looking at more about anger, not mm. whatever emotion. Gotcha. Right? So the more specific you make it, and that actually makes our job easier because as we use tools like this, we can find all the different specific questions people are asking. And instead of just making one video on how to manage emotions, I can make a hundred different videos, really, really specific. It gives me a hundred different video topics to film about. And then I can become the master of the topic of emotion on YouTube because I've made a hundred different videos on this topic. So those are the, those are my two top awesome. tools yeah. for finding video topics to film about. This is what I use to prepare for our filming day today. I love it. Quora or SEMrush. All done. It was that easy, wasn't it? So what, what should we have them do? They watched this far. Uh, like, share, subscribe. And leave your comments, too, on ways that you've come up with topics for your videos. We'd love yeah. to hear do you have, that. Do you have any hacks, like, better than SEM Rush?